Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the topic role of nitrogen in plants. Let us first see the introduction to the nitrogen. The element nitrogen was discovered as a uh, separable component of air by Scottish physician Daniel Rutherford in 1772. Nitrogen compounds were well known during the Middle Ages. Alchemists knew the nitric acid as aqua fortis, that is strong water. The mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acids was known as aqua regia that is royal water because it is celebrated for its ability to dissolve gold. Nitrogen is a chemical element with symbol capital N and atomic number 7. Elemental nitrogen is a colorless, odorless, tasteless and mostly inert diatomic gas at standard conditions constituting 78.09% of earth's atmosphere by volume. Nitrogen gas is an industrial gas produced by the fractional distillation of liquid air or by mechanical means using gaseous air. Commercial nitrogen is often a byproduct of air processing for industrial concentration of oxygen. Nitrogen gas has a variety of applications including serving as an inert replacement for air where oxidation is undesirable. Liquid nitrogen is also used to cryogenically freeze objects in cryopreservation. Then, Nitrogen is an important macronutrient because it is incorporated in nucleic acids and proteins. Atmospheric nitrogen which is the diatomic molecule N2 or dinitrogen is the largest pool of nitrogen in terrestrial ecosystems. However, plants cannot make use of this nitrogen because they do not have the necessary enzymes to convert it into biologically useful forms. However, nitrogen can be fixed that is it can be converted to ammonia through biological, physical or chemical processes. Biological nitrogen fixation that is the conversion of atmospheric N2 into ammonia NS3 can be carried out by only prokaryotic organisms such as soil bacteria or cyanobacteria. The most important source of biological nitrogen fixation is the symbiotic interaction between soil bacteria and legume plants including many crops important to humans. The ammonia resulting from fixation can be transported into plant tissues and incorporated into amino acids which are then made into plant proteins. These amino acids are also utilized in producing necessary enzymes and structural parts of the plants and can become a part of the stored proteins in the grain. Some legume seeds such as soybeans and peanuts contain high levels of protein and are among the most important agricultural sources of protein in the world. Then the purines and pyrimidines, the nitrogen basis of life molecule that is DNA are derived from nitrogen. Nitrogen is a major part of nucleic acids. Nitrogen is the major constituent of proteins and amino acids. Majority of the secondary metabolites like alkaloids, glycosides, tannins, glycoproteins, lignin etc. are derivatives of nitrogen. The agricultural yield and productivity are highly dependent on nitrogenous fertilizers such as urea, DAP, etc. Nitrogen combined with high concentration of chlorophyll utilizes the sunlight as an energy source to carry out essential plant functions including nutrient uptake. Nitrogen is essential for the synthesis of chlorophyll which is associated with the production of simple sugars from carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. These sugars along with their conversion products play a role in the stimulating plant growth and development along with higher protein content in the grain. Then the nitrogen deficiency causes yellowing or chlorosis of plant leaves. The yellowing will start in the older leaves and then will proceed to develop on younger leaves if the deficiency continues. Plants with nitrogen deficiency will typically be shorter or stunted and grow slower than plants with sufficient nitrogen. Nitrogen stress also reduces the amount of protein in the seed and plant. Tillering can also be reduced in small grains. A nitrogen deficiency can also affect the standability of crops as grain fill occurs. If a plant is deficient in nitrogen, it will draw nitrogen out of the leaves and stalk for grain fill. This weaken the stalk or stem causing standability problems. Then nitrogen deficiency in plants. 
where there is an insufficient supply of nitrogen regardless of abundance in the atmosphere it leads to severe plant disorders nitrogen deficiency in plants is likely to occur when other minerals like carbon are added to the soil that would directly lead to the unavailability of it to the plants this is because a lot of nitrogen will be used by soil organism to break down the harmful carbon sources that is taking away the nitrogen from the soil this will automatically translate to the reduction of chlorophyll content of plants therefore affecting flowering fruiting starch and protein contents undermining plant health then ammonium nitrate and urea nitrogen fertilizers nitrogen can only be fixed and made available to plants through biological and chemical nitrogen fixation such as from nitrogen fertilizers and also through atmospheric nitrogen addition nitrogen comes in different forms ammonium nitrate and urea nitrogen with nitr nitrate nitrogen being the most abundant with easy uptake and favors soil retention unlike ammonium nitrogen which requires more oxygen to be metabolized in the roots of plants where it reacts with sugars and urea nitrogen on the other hand is a waste form of nitrogen then nitrogen in hydroponic agriculture nitrogen is increasingly used in hydroponics agriculture where plants are grown without soil that is in using water it is important to note that the exact amount of nitrogen required in soil and hydroponic gardening is the same the use of nitrogen fertilizers enhances its availability to plants in hydroponic and soil gardening that's all thank you so much for your kind attention